Okay, so today we're going to be having a little bit more fun using this new Multiverse of Madness uniform for Baron Mordo. Because after yesterday's video where he was okay, he was able to take down Infinity Ultron, Null, and Mephisto, I had a couple people reach out asking to find out how he performs in timeline battle. And because without his artifact, he doesn't have any ignore iframe, I don't think he's going to perform very well. However, he does have penetration in his kit and he does have some decent survivability built in, in the guaranteed dodge, the damage reduction, and as you can see right here, the immunity to energy damage plus he decreases the amount of energy damage that is reflected back at him. So this could potentially make him a decent counter to Emma Frost. We'll have to wait and see. Now, if you take a look at Baron Mordo's HP pool, it's actually not very high considering the fact that I have eight HP Urus on him. And on my cards, I have 66% max HP. And that 77,000 is actually with Red Hulk or Red She-Hulk rather in the mix. Without it, we're down to 64,000. So very, very low HP on this guy. And because of that, I'm actually going to be testing him with a CTP of authority. We're gonna be stacking as much damage reduction as possible and hoping that uh, that is enough to help him stay alive and actually take out some of the top tier characters. I was initially going to use him with a CTP of regeneration, but after looking at his HP pool, I think the regeneration would be wasted on him because he would not even be breaking 100,000 HP, okay? So that being said, ladies and gents, let us jump right into it. I think we're gonna give him Hella's uniform passive bonus thing that gives him extra damage to heroes and make it so he's taking less damage from heroes as well because this week's meta will be filled with heroes okay so the first person we're going up against is commander let's see how this goes by the way we are in challenger he has all these buffs already i don't what's this so increase damage to universals increase damage to speed increase damage to humans he's just like <laughs> wailing out hard okay it doesn't matter let's see how we do Mordo can you actually do anything Mordo Mordo please tell me you can actually kill this man okay you actually do something but with no iframe ignore how much can he really do he's chaining iframes nicely Let's see how this goes. Ooh, he actually takes out the Silver Surfer, but the Reflect got him even though he has that decreased Reflect damage thing on his uniform bonus. Feels bad, man. Yes, I wanted him to heal, so... Um, oh, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Ooh, he almost got off his fifth skill there. Ooh, okay. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I should buy all my buffs and then fight people, but I don't want I don't want to fight people when I have my buffs. Okay. So Sentry went down quite easily this time. Um Silver Surfer full counter. Wow. I want to take advantage of this opportunity. You don't see Surfer very much unless you don't have very many options. And this week is one of such This week is one such week where um we have a lot of meta characters banned. Doom is banned. Thanos is banned. Oh, uh, yikes. Emma is banned. And Adam is banned in um, Challenger. So, yeah. He's not even consistent enough to take out the old guard, which is Sentry. Okay, so we found another team that has Spider-Man. Let's see how this goes. Do me a favor, guys. Drop a like on the video for all the crystals I'm wasting to... Uh, test out these characters to see if they're actually viable ancient one actually came in kind of clutch but it looks like once again Mordo is gonna come up short like yikes he just got shafted eh okay guys so what we're gonna do since he's having such a hard time staying alive i didn't want to do it but we're gonna have to bust out the big guns maya lopez 60 60 plus debuff removal can he actually pull it off? 
<laughs> bro. Holy. Yo, hold up. Does this man have something that turns off Hella's artifact? Because Hella's artifact didn't even proc their like hello. Um, I think one of his challenger buffs is just like instantly killing my characters. I don't know which one it is, but like, what is this? Does it turn off the that decreases damage from speed type? That's, that's only six percent though. Okay, so let's see how we do against Carl. I'm curious as to what's going on with Hella's artifact, but it's fine. It's not about Hella right now. See, like, that last guy was doing so much more damage to us than Carl just because of all those buffs that he has. So I guess I gotta buy some buffs, but I don't wanna buy buffs because it's gonna influence how much damage my character does and and takes, and it's just... It just muddies things, right? So I'd rather go in raw, you know? Um... Yo, when, when he gets the, the full fifth skill off, he gets some damage. Um, this Spider-Man just dodged his entire awaken skill. Okay, I'm about to say, like, this, is this man going to catch up? Never mind. He's about to catch up fade. What? <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, bro. Black on black crime. <laughs> okay, let me stop. But um, I was about to say he about to catch a W. And then he just got clapped up by Electro. Maybe I should test against people in Vibranium. Since people in Vibraniums don't have... um, They don't have the buffs. But Carl doesn't have any buffs right now. So it's fine. Uh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro. Now having the iframe ignore is so annoying. Yeah, man. No, guys. I'm telling you, this one looks like it's a skip partner. Man, all he does is like stands around and waits for an opportunity to attack. And if he doesn't get an opportunity to attack because the enemy is in an iframe, he just dies, bro. He's bad. Um, somebody pointed out that I always say damage is king. And then they added on to that phrase by saying that if damage is king, utility is queen. And I am imp I'm, I'm implied to agree. You know what I'm saying? I have no choice but to agree. Because um, utility, like a leadership or support passive or something like that, is definitely like the next best thing if you don't offer like insane damage if you're not top meta. And he's definitely not top meta. So because he's not offering any kind of utility outside of damage, um, yeah fam, it's a no-no for me. Um, let me try this. Let me see if he can actually do anything against Emma and Adam. Okay. Let's, let's um see how this goes you have no buffs he has no buffs you see how much longer my um Maya Lopez stays alive and we take significantly the buffs make a big difference in challenger man yo see how much he's standing around doing nothing sentry gets off like three or four skills before he gets off one okay he got sentry but it took him like what 20 seconds to do it yeah come on bro okay Oh, is he gonna kill Emma? Wow, he actually killed Emma. Is his Awaken skill gonna carry over to kill Adam Warlock? Nope, he dead. <laughs> Adam Warlock just like, oh, look at my PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> Flex right in his face. <laughs> I can't, bro. I actually can't. What's wrong with me? But uh, yeah, Adam Warlock sat in the uh, fifth skill iframe, and while he has no iframe ignore, he just has to stand there and look at this man bulging rippling muscles just like flexing in his face now marble why did you do this what why why did you do this <laughs> uh, let's go be the last one i want i just want to see like if without his awaken skill he can actually um kill emma frost because he has that thing that reduces the amount of damage he takes from reflect okay let's see that sword kind of looks like a whip i've been calling it a whip the whole time but it's actually a sword with like energy from it coming from it or whatever okay how does he take out emma without his awakened skill or does he not Woo! emma just flexed on that man i've seen all i need to see ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages and sizes <laughs> i am gonna wrap this thing here um yeah 
even against a blast character like emma frost he needs his awakened skill which is not always going to be available so you have to conveniently have it ready if you want to get a w with this guy i'm gonna i'm gonna say it man he's significantly worse than ancient one in every single way well to be fair he cleared stage 40 for me against null ancient one can only go as high as 34 because the requirements don't allow her and i don't think if she could go to 40 she would be able to clear it so i guess that's the only thing that Mordo has over ancient one he might have a little bit more damage but ancient one's damage is not bad and she offers the uh you know the leadership and the whole support deal which you guys all know so for me it's a it's a dud boys it's a dud unfortunately we're gonna have to say there's not really much of a reason for you to pick up the uniform for baron mordo stay tuned for more videos i'll catch you guys next time peace